Hey everyone, it's Tiffany. Okay, so today I am 15 weeks and two days pregnant. Um, we find out the sex of the baby next Saturday. I'm super excited. Uh, today's Friday, so we have less than a week, a little bit less than a week, a week and a day, whatever. So, I can't wait, but you guys, um, so this week will be your last week to, um, Guess the sex of my baby. You go to expectnag.com. The link will be below. And type Tiff's Baby 11 in the little um, box on the left hand side. And you guess what I'm having and the size of it and all that stuff. So do that this week so um, I could see the total and stuff at the end of, well, next week. <laughs> so yeah, if I, um, do that. And then hopefully in my next video, you guys will know the sex of my baby. Uh, hopefully the baby cooperates, you know, not the legs aren't crossed. Because my last ultrasound, um, the baby's legs were crossed. Not that they were going to tell me the sex of the baby anyways, but the legs are crossed. So I'm excited for that. I can't wait. Um, let's see. Um, the baby's size this week is um, four and a half inches. Uh, let's see. Last week, I think it was like three inches, I think. And this week, it's four and a half, so I'll show you. So the baby's like this long now. And um, supposedly it's the size of an apple. I think I said apple. Yeah, of an apple. Or in my um, What to Expect When You're Expecting book, it says um, the size of a navel orange. But they're about the same size, so yeah. Crazy. It's growing like crazy. Um, and I just felt movement. It was really, really crazy. <laughs> um, a lot of people say they don't feel movement to like... 16, 17 weeks, but I am not crazy. I know I feel flutters. Well, it's more than flutters now. Like, towards the beginning, like, maybe starting 12, 13 weeks, I felt flutters. But now I feel like a little more than a flutter. I don't know what, what kind of word I can just say, but it's more than a flutter. Last week, I think it was, um, I was waiting for dinner because um, my parents were cooking and I was super, super, super hungry. I didn't eat anything. They were, um, doing barbecue and stuff so I was just sitting here and all of a sudden I felt like this little prick or something I'm just say poke poke I felt a poke and I was just like hmm maybe maybe that was a baby maybe it wasn't huh so for so I didn't think about it and then I was sitting there and it did it again and it did it again and it did it again and dinner was taking forever so the baby was doing that for like 45 minutes like an hour until after I ate and it was crazy because if I pushed down I could feel it like feel it more it was unreal I was like oh my gosh what is going on so now I feel it like like once a day um pretty much in kind of like the same spot um it was doing it today when I was at the doctor and it was doing it a second ago my mom's talking you probably can hear her so I was doing it doing it a second ago it's crazy um beforehand uh, it would do it like when I was really hungry I'm not hungry right now so I don't know why she's doing it maybe just she's like thanks mom for feeding me <laughs> I don't know but, uh, it's just crazy. TJ felt it, and, um, so did my stepdad, so that was just amazing. I can't wait till I can see it on the outside and don't have to press down to feel it. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm still, I'm not really craving anything right now. Um, I was craving still watermelon. I still eat watermelon. And the other day, randomly, I craved a pickle, but not the regular pickles. I wanted, um, a bread and butter pickle. And I bought a jar because I was just, like, craving those randomly. It was crazy because that's, you know, pregnant women want pickles. And so I was like, what? That's weird that I just want pickles. I don't know. I'm still kind of moody. Things get on my nerves still. Um, I'm very emotional. Like, one day I was looking at the, my baby's ultrasound picture. And I just kind of start, started getting teary-eyed. Like, oh, my God, this is my baby. Like, just getting all emotional. And then I was watching a baby story one time. And I started getting teary-eyed when she had her baby. Yeah. But if I, if I wasn't pregnant, I wouldn't have cried or anything. So, I'm emotional. <laughs> it's really kind of crazy. But I guess that's what comes along with pregnancy. Um, my breasts have stopped hurting a little bit. They're not as bad as what they used to be. It's going away. So that's good. Um, oh, my mom bought the baby furniture. Uh, I'll show you a picture. Yeah, I know it's early and not even five min months, but hey, she's excited, okay? And it's better to be prepared. So, um, yeah, this is the furniture that she got. She got the crib and a changer. And a dresser. This is not this is not my baby's nursery. This is the picture that was online. It's just the furniture. So this is the furniture that she got. 
Um, I think she got it from like simplyfurniture.com or something like that. I don't know. And um, I believe they're going to put it up tomorrow. They have to get some the stuff, the bed taken down that's already in there and um, give that to TJ. And yeah, so I think they're going to put it up tomorrow. So that's that. Um, let's see. Oh, my appointment. So my appointment went really good. Um, I had to, to do blood work a while back. I told you guys. And they, she told me my results today. And everything was negative on there. So that's really good. Um, I was really worried about the sickle cell. Because TJ has a sickle cell trait. And if I have the trait, then there's a big possibility that my baby could have a sickle cell disease. Now, um, you, you know, you can live a normal life with a sickle cell disease. But, um, you know, it's, you, you get sick a lot and stuff. So... Um, I was worried about that, and I do not have the sickle cell trait, thank God, so, um, my baby will not have the sickle cell disease at all. Um, there's a possibility that, that he or she can have, um, the trait, but they, they won't have the disease at all, so that's really good. I'm, I'm happy about that. Um, I have to do another second, I guess my second semester, Down syndrome test again, blood work, like next week or something, so I'll tell you guys that afterwards but most likely my baby won't have down syndrome like I said before um she said everything looked good I was you know the right size my uterus is the like the right correct size what else did she say everything was pretty good I'm not going to tell you guys what she said how much it weighed because I think it's lying I don't believe what <laughs> she said but um I'm going to start walking on the treadmill and I think I'm going to start doing um aerobic classes soon. I just am really busy and I just don't have a lot of time, but I'm going to try to find time to, to work out. Um, and I'm definitely going to breastfeed after when I have my baby because, um, not just because I heard that it helps you lose weight fast, but just because it's help, it's, help, it's healthy for the baby and for my sake. But yeah, I want to show you guys a picture of me as a child. Not a child, but as a baby. This is what I look like. So my baby might look like that. <laughs> and I wanted to show you guys this little thing that my somebody made for me I don't know and that's not how you spell my middle name but she spelled it wrong it's okay but I was six pounds one ounce no yeah, yeah six pound one six pounds one ounce I thought I was six pounds five ounces but yeah I'm gonna make a baby book for my baby I'm gonna put that in there and some other pictures and stuff <sighs> but I think that's it I keep running out of breath I'm gonna show you guys my my tummy um, and then that'll be the end of this video, okay? So, yeah, here we go. Okay, tell me if, I, if I'm, if i like, super big. Because I kind of feel super big. And from the, what the scale said, I should be super big. So, let me know. And also, you guys said I was measuring wrong, some of you. So, I'm going to measure it twice to see what um, the difference is. Um, but, yeah, last week I was 31 around. So, this is my stomach from the front. I took out my belly rings. I'm still going to order the maternity ring, though, so it doesn't close. And this is it from the side. And this is it from this side. And I am... I've been measuring around my, my navel because that's how I've always been measured. And if I measure around my navel... I'm 31 still, and someone told me to measure around here, my pelvis, because that's where, um, I guess that's where the baby's laying right now, which is true, and if I measure down here, I'm 33, so I guess we'll start going by here for now, so I'm 33 inches around, see, 33. So yeah, that's it. Oh, um, I guess I can show you guys with the, the shirt on. This is with the shirt on. You can see my little bump. Yeah. But anyways, um, that's about it. I will see you guys next week when I'm 16 weeks pregnant. And I know this next my baby, hopefully. Pray for me, guys. Okay, love you. Bye.